Hello everyone, welcome to our programming library. In this tutorial, I am going to talk about for loops in R. The for loops are somewhat similar to the while loop, uh, and, but they are more convenient than the while loop. And the difference is that um, in for loop, there is an iteration of loop, as you can see here is, is the first block of statement here. So there is an iteration of loop instead of the logical expression that we have seen in while loop. So the syntax is given here. So the first block of statement here is the iteration of the loop and second block here is actual actual body of the loop. Uh, so any for loop will repeat a body of the loop here for each values which are given uh, to the iteration loop. Now let's see some examples. Let's calculate the square root of numbers from 1 to 10. For that we have first of all on the iteration loop here, all the numbers from 1 to 10 and um, the body of the loop here which is the actual instruction given to R to calculate uh, square root of the all numbers which are given in the iteration loop. So let us uh, let's execute this line of code here. So we can see the square root of all the numbers from 1 to 10 uh, uh, is calculated. We can store these results in a vector uh, using um, a empty vector first of all. Uh, so let us create that empty vector and um, we have the same loop here except uh, that we have created a vector x using a concatenation function. So we have concatenated the empty vector x uh, we have created above with all the values of uh, the square root that the loop will calculate. Uh, so let us do that. Okay, and let us see our vector x now. Okay, uh, we can make it better uh, using the round function here. Uh, uh, if we use uh, the argument digits equals to true, then we will see only two digits after the decimal. Okay, so this is uh, the vector x with um, the square root uh, calculated for all the numbers from 1 to 10. We can, al we can also use a break statement to end uh, the for loop at any point. Uh, so we have the same code uh, here uh, that we have calculated above. Uh, but in this case, I am using a break statement uh, in the middle of the loop here. Uh, what, what this break statement does is um, when, whenever calculating the loop, if this condition is satisfied, then the loop breaks uh, at this point uh, depending on uh, your uh, condition here. So for this particular case, uh, uh, when uh, the number is 6, uh, w when the um, uh, iteration number is 6, uh, then at that point um, it is not going to calculate the square root of other numbers like 6, 7, 8, 9 or 10. So in this case we will only get uh, the square root of the numbers from 1 to 5. Uh, so uh, let us see that. So we have first of all uh, empty vector x, then a for loop and then uh, x with all the square root values and a round function uh, to round uh, the square root numbers here. So uh, in this tutorial, uh, we see how a for loop works in R. Uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Um, I hope to see you guys in the next video.